Welcome back to JCR Garage. Now this time we're gonna do one of these uh, little tech review things on what is an Android endoscope. Android and PC that is. Now it looks like this, if you can see that. Yeah, it is a tiny little camera with six LED lights at the end that you put into tight places, maybe? Because what I can guess as an endoscope, it would be something a doctor would use to put up your rear end or maybe down your throat to check out how it looks inside of you. Uh, but what I am planning on having this for is for old engines because, well, you can shove it down spark plug holes to see how cylinders look or maybe in through drain plugs in the oil pan to see how an engine looks in the crankcase without popping it open, which would mean you need new gaskets. It comes with one of these, one tiny little uh, instruction manual. It's not really a manual, it's just a note. Now, I'll read this because it's kind of funny how it's obviously written by someone who hasn't really mastered the English language. Now, it is just says, it's just like this. You see, it's, well, it's a picture of it, what it contains. Uh, there's a little bit more down there. It says Android and PC Endoscope. And this might, yeah. It says Android and PC Endoscope, so powerful and smart. Description. Newest waterproof endoscope for Android. Can take photo, record video. And the photo and video file can be stored directly in your Android mobile phone or the PC. The whole process of recording. It is very convenient for observation and follow-up analysis. There's also a turning wheel used for adjust the brightness of six LED lights so that the endoscope can work in some area without enough light. It is IP67 waterproof camera. Feel free to see the things in water. You also can use endoscope with the computer through USB adapter. And there's a little warning down at the bottom. This only works with Android system phone does not support iOS system. Your Android phone must support OTG function and must support connect external camera. Like I said, obviously someone who has a massive English language. Now, the instructions are in the back. It says to start to use on the phone, you have to download a QR code reader and scan one of these two QR codes. When you do that, it is just going through the settings of the app that one of these downloads to be able to run the camera so you can actually see things and you steer everything through the app the only controls you have on this thing is well this I'm thinking this is a microphone I haven't really checked it out and this is the wheel you use to adjust the LED lights as well as this button turns your uh, video feet a little bit weird. It turns colors onto it, puts colors onto it, and turns black and white, polarized, polarized, whatever it's called. And to be used on a computer you have to use this CD driver. This has a zip file in it and you open that up and it'll give you the installation program. My computer on the other hand, because I haven't gotten this to work, it sort of tells me one of them is a Trojan. And Although I wouldn't care on the computer I have over there, because, well, that computer sucks. And it's old, and I don't really use it for anything other than YouTube videos. But, I wouldn't really give a shit if I got a Trojan on it. And I tried, but I couldn't get the program to let me download it, override it. Uh, anyway, it says what a package includes, and it gives you the specifications. It is Android and PC endoscope, one small hook, one magnet, one protective case, one side audition, one USB adapter, one CD driver, one dust-free cloth, and one manual. Now, this is most likely the manual, and this is the CD driver. The dust-free cloth and two hooks actually are in here. I don't really know how they have, say, one hook and there are two in this package. 
Uh, also, the side audition, it has a 90 degree angle with a, um, uh, oh, what's that called? Uh, a mirror. Brain freeze. And there's a mirror in it so you can see out the side of that. Where, where's the camera thing on that? You can see that it has a little cutout in it. It lets you walk, view, you put the endoscope in here, it has the mirror there, so you see what's out there. But, what they say about one protective case and one magnet, those I can't find in here. So, this is obviously a bit wrong. Specifications, resolution, HD 640 by 480 Well, that's on phone, and it says it has 1280 720 on PC only. I can't verify that, because I obviously can't get it run on my PC. View angle, 66 degrees. Focal distance, 4 centimeters to infinite. Diameter, 5.5 millimeters to 7 millimeters. I'm guessing that means that the wire is 5.5 and the endoscope itself is 7. I haven't, I don't have a caliper here, so I can't really check that. Light, 6 adjustable white LED lights, that's right. Waterproof level, IP67. I'm not sure what that means, but it means it's waterproof to a certain depth. I don't know how much that is. Frames, 30 frames per second. Support systems, Android, Windows, 2000, XP, and Vista, and 7, actually. Well, that is what is in here. You can see this is the USB adapter. You put one of these little Android plugs in there, and this is a USB. But now, well, let's have a look at how it looks. We'll Plug it into my phone and we can see what happens. Alright, so here is my phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy J5. You can see my beautiful escort. Well, if we do this, this is the app you get. It's called USB Web Camera. Now, what you do is you plug in the endoscope. This might require two hands. And it shows up like that. Now, the endoscope you can see it has things happening this is the table and if we turn it around like this you can see me Ooh. now this is how the controls work down here um, this one you use to flip over to video and I will shoot a little bit of video here so you can see for what happens but this is how it works now now we are on recording with the camera. The audio is being taken in from a different phone. But you can see here that it has this alright enough look. And you can turn the lights on and it lights up pretty good. Now I don't really have anything to shove it into other than into my hand. But you can see this actually works pretty good. Uh, It has an okay resolution, it looks pretty good, you can see details, sort of, when you're far enough away from it. If you go really close, it kind of gets blurry. But, it does work really good. And you can see most of the things you would want to see, actually. So, this is a pretty viable camera to use if you don't want to buy a really expensive one you can buy one of these cheap ones and it will work but it might not be the best camera you're gonna get but it will work if you just use it every now and again through some things now thank you very much for watching subscribe like the video and drop, leave a comment if you like this review I'll be back with you later take care